Hello everyone, I'm very happy to share our work today. The title is Target, target Adaptive Graph for Cross Stance Detection. We will mainly introduce our work with five parts task definition, background, motivation, proposed method, evaluation, and conclusion. We will especially introduce the proposed method in the fourth part. First, let's look at the task definition. Stance detection aims to identify people's standpoint and attitude expressed in text towards a target, while cross-target stance detection aims to detecting the stance of targets which are not in the training site. The source and the destination targets are paired with their corresponding sentence and stance labels. Suppose there is no Noted data for the destination target. Legal, uh, legislation of abortion is unseen in the training data site. Cross target stance detection aims to rebuild the stance class files trained on feature exchanges for context of source targets, which might be relevant to the destination targets, so as to elevate the sparsity or lack of annotated, annotated data for the stance detection of destination targets. There are several works focused on stance detection and cross-target stance detection. They are mainly attention-based model, the topic memory network model, and knowledge-enhanced model. Existing methods largely focus on extracting shared information across different targets. They only consider the contextual stance expressions in the annotated target data site. Uh, example 1, noting that the stance expression relating to the word equality presents the opposite stance for the two targets, that is, directly employing the stance information associated with the source target for the learning of stance representation of the destination target may produce wrong results. The main reason is that the, th the same word or expression may signal different stances when associating with different targets. Therefore, it is important to understand the word level pragmatics information and adapt it for different targets, which could lead to improve performance in cross-target stance detection. Here we regard the words such as equality whose inherent stance are target dependent as in target words. Additionally, in example 2, words with colors expressing the same stance regardless of the targets associated with uh, regarded as target-independent stance de expressions, those words can effectively boost the perform performance of a stance detection for unknown targets. Correspondingly, we regard those words as cross-target words. We argue that the main challenge in stance detection are to identify those two types of words in target versus cross-target, and uh, model the context features for stance detection of targets based on different word types. To better address cross-target stance detection, in this paper we propose a novel framework to leverage the fundamental word-level pragmatics dependency of stance expressions towards the target. Our model contains Four parts. The first part is vector representation. Second part is heterogeneous graphs. Third part is interactive GCM blocks. The final part is stance representation. By constructing targeting adaptive heterogeneous graphs from the in target and the cross target perspective. Utilizing the interaction between different targets and the proposed framework 
can capture those dense information more accurately and distill the knowledge on the different targets with better inter interpretability. Target adaptive graph contains in-target graph and cross-target graph. There are two steps to construct target adaptive graph. The first step is target adaptive prag pragmatics weight computation. In this step, we aim to get the target dependent and target independent roles that each word plays in distinct targets. We use in target weight and cross target weight to quantify the roles that the words play for each target. Pragmatics dependency graphs construction is the second step. We use dependency tree to capture global structures information of a sentence and emphasize crucial word relations. As we can see, the target adaptive graph in the red box is the is one of the input of interaction GCM prox, which means that the target adaptive graph is a core of our proposed model. Let's look at the first step of constructing target adaptive graph. Uh, from the in target from the in target per perspective, we would define the pra pragmatics weight of word based on the degree of pragmatics association between the word and the target. The second weight is called cross-target weight from the cross-target pers perspective. The pragmatics weight of the word is determined by the pra pragmatic frequency distribution across all targets. For both weights, we define a uh, stance weight to uh, word k. The stance weight of word k captures the stance priority information of each word. On the on the on the um, right side of the screen, we can see that we give uh, an example of uh, weight for each word, like a feminist feminists. Feminism. And this is just uh, exam an example of those two weights for some words. Based on the target adaptive pragmatic pragmatics weight learned above, this section we present how we construct the target adaptive graphs graphs. Noting that the graph can preserve global structure information of contextual words. Our proposed method aims to emphasize the crucial word relations and invade the inconsequential ones. That is, if both words have optimistic pragmatic weights, their edge weight in graph will be large. Conversely, if one of the words has a very small pragma pragmatic weight, the weight of their edge will be vastly reduced. Following the example of two graphs, graphs for a sentence. Based on the pragmatic dependency graph learned over dependency tree and the target adaptive pragmatics information, here we discuss how to leverage the target adaptive stance expression to the destination targets. For each iterative GCM block, an in-target JSON layer and a cross-target JSON layer are assembled to interactively and adaptively learn and adjust the target adaptive graph representations for stance detection. Each, each, each node in the IOS JSON block is updated according to the hidden representation of its neighbors according to the adjacent matrix of in-target and cross-target graph. Table 3 shows the comparison results over 8 cross-target tasks on the same year 16 data site. We can see that compared with target sense detection, all previous models achieve inferior performance on all targets 
cross-target tasks, which demonstrate the challenge of cross-target stance detection. It is observed that our performance model, TPDG, consistently outperforms our comparison models on all cross-target tasks. To demonstrate the robustness of our proposed model in cross-target stance detection, we test on unknown destination targets while trained on other three targets in healthcare domain from WTWT dataset. The results are reported in Table 4. We can observe that, except to average accuracy of the unrelated label, our proposed model also achieves tremendously better performance than the older baselines. To analyze the impact of different components of the proposed TPDG model, we conduct experiments over different cross target tasks on WTWT data site and report the results in Table 7. We can see the removal of cross target or in target degrades the performance substantially, which indicates that both in target and cross target sense expressions are important in detecting stands for an unknown target. To further demonstrate that pragmatic information of contextual words can enrich graph representation towards the target, we conduct experiments on WCWD data site by employing different proportions of pragmatic words derived in derived before. We first sort the words by pro pragmatic weight and vary the proportion from one from zero to one. The results are shown in figure three. To investigate the impact of interactive decision block numbers on the performance of our proposed model, we verify the block number from one to eight and demonstrate the results in figure five, noting that the model with three GCM blocks performs over better than other numbers. That we set the, our number of GCM blocks to three in our model. In this paper, we pro present a novel approach that automatically identifies and adapts the target dependent and the target independent rules of a word towards a target in cross target stance detection. That's all. Thank you for your listening.